Yo, what is up everyone? My name is Evan and today we're going to be back with another Madden 20 Info video. Uh, today's video, uh, we're going to be hopping into um, the top 10 Theme King players I think you guys should get. Uh, so obviously, I'm recording this on Monday. Tomorrow, um, the three-day early access will drop, so I thought I would drop this tomorrow just in time for you guys to pick who you guys should get. Um, I'm not going to put them in any specific order for now. I'll try and... I'll quickly regroup my top five at the end, uh, but here's going to be my top ten in no specific order. Alright, to start it off, you guys, I'm going to be starting with Kawan Short, defensive tackle. Um, Kawan Short's uh, going to be pretty good for you guys. Uh, he's in, obviously, he's going to be good in a 4-3 or a 3-4, um, but as you guys can see, he's got he's okay in the pass rush, but he's going to be a better run stuffer. Uh, so definitely uh, someone who can do it both ways, uh, but... Um, as you can see, uh, he's going to be pretty good for just like a good nose tackle if you run a 3-4. Um, but if you run a 4-3, I definitely recommend uh, getting either an, a pass rush person, like probably DeForest Buckner, to go along with him. Uh, but if you're running a 3-4, then this will be really, really good for you. Even though he is better in a 4-3, uh, I'd run him with a 3-4 for sure. Next up, you guys, we have Adrian Amos from the Green Bay Packers, you guys. Uh, Adrian Amos is actually going to be the fastest safety in the game at launch. Um, the highest, or the the uh, fastest, like, just like secondary person in the game um, is going to be the ultimate trainer's Marshawn Lattimore, who's at 87 speed. I don't know if he gets to 88 when powered up, um, but Marshawn Lattimore is the fastest, so to get an 86... Uh, safety that's gonna be really really clutch for you guys especially saying if people have Tyree kill with 89 or Torrey Holt with 90 uh, Marquise Brown John Ross those fast guys you're definitely gonna want a uh, a fast safety in the backfield so I would definitely recommend taking Amos because he's really good in zone uh, like I said he's got good speed excel awareness and play rec uh, and he's got pretty decent hit power as well so All right, and next up, you guys, we have Darius Slay, or otherwise known as Big Pay, Big Play Slay, um, from the Detroit Lions. You guys, uh, Darius Slay, in my opinion, is probably one of the better cornerbacks that um, in Madden all the time. Um, obviously, he's he's probably, uh, in my opinion, I think he's like one of the best in at launch, uh, besides Stephon Gilmore. Um, but he's got 85 speed, which you're definitely gonna want fast, speedy corners and safeties, especially with most people picking up Tyreek. Um, and probably Hollywood since he's a gold, um, and even John Ross. But anyway, uh, he's got he's pretty good in both man and zone, like he usually is. He's got good awareness and play rec. Um, 65 catching, which is going to be pretty good for a cornerback. Um, uh, like I said, he's got good zone and man, so Darius Slay, pick him up. All right, my first offensive player is going to be George Kittle from the 49ers, you guys. George Kittle is a Madden cheat code when it comes to the tight end, you guys. He is very, very fast. He's very good run blocker, so definitely, definitely take George Kittle without a doubt, you guys. He's got 81 speed. I'm sure powered up he's going to have around 82. As you can see, he's got 89 awareness. Um, he's got 85 catching, which is really, really solid uh, for tight ends. Um, he's got... Uh, 77 catch in traffic. He's got an 80 spectacular catch. He has uh, 78 short route run, 76 medium, and 70 deep. Uh, and as you guys can see, he does have a 79 run block, which could get up to an 80 when powered up. Um, so definitely, definitely take George Kittle. As I said, he is a cheat code. All right, you guys, my fifth player uh, that you guys should take is going to be Amari Cooper. Um, Amari Cooper is insane, you guys. He is very, very fast, 85 speed. You're going to want to want, ugh, bad words. Um, you're going to want to have uh, faster wide receivers, especially because, you know, if people don't really, especially if they're low overalls and they don't really pay attention to speed, if you can burn some people, that's going to be really, really clutch for you guys. Uh, like, as I said, budget cards are going to be a John Ross. So if you can find a John Ross for even like 10K, it's worth it. John Ross is insane. But as it, I do have the rookie premier Hollywood Brown, so I'm going to be sending Hollywood Brown. Uh, but if I can have like other receivers with good speed like Amari, 
Uh, it's going to be really, really good for me. But uh, he's got 85 speed, 83 excel, and agility. He's got an 83 catch, 79 catch in traffic, 81 spectacular catch, 82 short route run, 84 mid, 79 deep, which I think the deep should be a little bit higher considering what he did last year for the um, Cowboys. Um, he's got 83 looseness and an 84 juke, 79 spin. So he's going to be a good one uh, for rack catches. And then he's got a 45 run block, which isn't very bad. All right, the sixth player I have on my list is going to be Miles Garrett from the Browns. Uh, Miles Garrett is very, very good. Obviously, he's going to be one of the best right ends uh, at launch for sure. Obviously, not not better than Aaron Donald, but much more of a budget card because you can get him for free and just playing solos other than Aaron Donald, who's going to be like a crap ton of coins. Um, but anyway, uh, Miles Garrett does have 76 speed and 86 jump, which is insane, guys. So like, if you put him in a spy... Dude, that man's going to pick some balls, dude. That sounded really wrong. Um, he's going to get a lot of interceptions for you. That's better. Um, he's very good pass rusher with a 87 power move and an 80 finesse move. He's got 82 block shed, uh, 82 pursuit, 74 tackle, um, 88 strength. He's just an all-around really, really good card, so definitely do take Miles Garrett. All right, the next one on my list is going to be Tariq Cohen, who is the biggest cheat code and glitch to at launch. Like, I swear, you guys, this man is crazy, at least for the beginning of Madden, because he's got an 85 speed, which I think might be the fastest running back. Um, he's got 86 acceleration, 90 agility. He's got 70 catching, so you already know he's going to be good out the backfield. He has an 88 elusiveness, an 86 spin, and a 90 juke. He is crazy. Like I've watched gameplays. This man is crazy. He like he'll he breaks ankles. He gets loose. He's slippery. Tariq Cohen. Get him. Alright, we're approaching the end, you guys, but uh I think this is my eighth player. We have Daniil Hunter uh from the Vikings left end. So if you do take Miles Garrett, you're gonna have two pretty good um opposite each other. Uh, those being Daniil Hunter and Miles Garrett. And if you do end up going Kawan Short, I mean, you're going to have a really good front three if you run a 3-4. Um, but anyway, uh, Hunter's got 82 speed, which is going to be pretty good. He's got an 83 finesse move. Uh, he's going to have a 79 block shed. So, you know, he's a good balanced guy, but he's going to be a better pass rusher for sure. 84 excel, uh, 80 jumping, which isn't bad. Uh, so, as you can see, he's got a good run stuff. Um, just a little bit better pass rush and uh, better in the 4-3, but... Uh, overall, he's a very, very good card. All right, next up, I have TJ Watt, who is going to be my most questionable player on this list. Reasons being is because, as you can see, his coverages are 56 man and 61 zone, so definitely not going to be someone you want to drop in coverage. Even if you use him, you don't want to have him as a coverage guy. Always pass rush because he does have an 86 finesse move and a 79 block shed. Uh, he's got 77 speed, which isn't bad, an 86 awareness, and an 86 uh, play rec, and an 83 pursuit. So this is definitely someone you're going to want to run in a 3-4 for sure. Um, because, uh, like, obviously TJ Watt's known for pass rushing, but the reason being in a 3-4 is because, obviously, in the 3-4, you can use... Um, you obviously you you're already gonna have two middle linebackers, so you can either keep one of your outside linebackers as coverage or blitzers. Um, so obviously um, he'll be good. I can't remember if Khalil's a left end. I think Max a left end or left outside linebacker, but um, obviously a budget card for sure. So T.J. Watt's gonna be good for pass rush and pass rush only, but I would take him. All right, my final player on my top 10 list is going to be Russell Wilson. Um, obviously, this is we. I mean, how do I explain this? So, obviously, um, you get an a 86 overall from the NFL Epic Solos. You're going to get an 86 Baker Mayfield. Um, so, if you don't, if, you, if you're fine with Baker, take him. Honestly, I would be fine with Baker, but I don't, like, I might grab Russell. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but he's got 78 speed, which is already going to be better than um, Baker's. He's got an 81 throw power, an 89 throw on the run, which is going to be really, really helpful, you guys, because 
Um, the throw on the run is a lot better this year. Like, they're a lot more accurate. He's got an 86 play action. Um, he's got 81 throw power, 82 throw accuracy short, 79 medium, and 83 deep. So he's going to be pretty good uh, throwing that deep ball. Um, and obviously he's got a pretty good juke move for, you know, a quarterback and good elusiveness and baller carrier vision. So Russell Wilson is a good card, but you don't have to take him if you're going to be found with that Baker Mayfield. So with that being said, I'm going to go over like two or three honorable mentions. All right, my first honorable mention is going to be a lineman. So you can clearly choose from any lineman that everyone uh, suits your team and your positions needed. Um, but I overall, I think the best lineman in general is going to be Andrew Norwell. He's got a good run block at 77, uh, a good pass block at 84. Um, so definitely someone who I think is the best lineman. Um, you don't have to take linemen uh, if you don't want them, but it's, it's a th good way to just stack them up. Obviously, I don't think either of the tackles are very good. So I wouldn't go the tackles. So I'd either go Andrew Norwell or Alex Mack for sure. Uh, we're going to scroll down to the my second honorable mention, who's going to be Chris Jones. Uh, as you know, Chris Jones, I think he had like 15 and a half sacks last year, which is absolutely crazy, man. That's insane. Uh, he was a problem. No one can cover him. Uh, he's got a 76 block shed, which is finesse and power. He's got an 85 power and 76 finesse moves. So this is going to be a run-stuffing pass rushing beast uh, you know he's not the fastest but he is gonna get it done so this is gonna be my honorable mention number two and with that being said you guys we're gonna wrap up the video here uh, make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys on Friday for um, Madden 20 so peace out you guys Through the wasteland, through the